so it's that time of the year again where we get to wish you a happy Thanksgiving from our home to yours. So I'm so glad to be able to do this once again. You know, this time last year, my arms were in terrible shape. If you don't know, I broke them both um, in an automobile accident. And so this time last year, you know, they were both in just different contraptions and I couldn't use them for very long and couldn't use them well. Uh, I couldn't spin, that was, that was a big thing. And now I can, <laughs> thanks be to God. So I'm very grateful for that. It's been a busy year in which I've been blessed to be surrounded by so many good people and to be supported uh, once again, you know, throughout this year by people like you who are supporting this work. I did dedicate more time this year to writing and I committed to publishing a couple of articles a week on my Substack, and so that's been a tremendous blessing. You know, whenever I end up celebrating uh, Thanksgiving, either, you know, like this in a video or going to a Thanksgiving event, I always get asked about the fact that I'm English and, and what that's like and whether this seems too American of a holiday, and that's kind of interesting because I don't think there's anything, um, I don't know, I don't think there's anything specifically American about the concept of gratitude. And then there's a leftist notion, of course, that says that the holiday is really about wiping out savages, or at least replacing their culture with a, a better one. Okay, they don't they don't call it a better one. But, but there is that. And if that's the case, if it really is a celebration about the replacement of savage cultures with Christendom, then I, I don't see a problem. In fact, I think it's actually very English too, because not to brag, speaking as my ethnicity here, but the English also worked on fixing some of those savage cultures. So that was kind of that was kind of our thing too. So yeah, you should share a little of that glory. I am I am glad, as always, not to have to worry about savage tribes or scalpings. They they're not on my list of concerns, um, thankfully. And these see these topics do just just fit together so naturally. I, I do appreciate <laughs> just how well uh, that works. I always love it when people compliment the old savage civilizations like the Aztecs, and I'll say, "Look at the look at the amazing pyramids that they built." And you have to go, but <clears throat> what happened on the top? what was happening at the top of the pyramid. Oh, they were for human sacrifices to their gods slash demons. That's right. That's right. Because for me, that's kind of a significant detail. I mean, granted, that's obviously not for everyone something that bears noting. But for me, I kind of, I do think that's important. This seems like an appropriate moment that I should probably say that there are lots of different households at which you will be advised not to discuss politics or religion or anything else that's really in this video. Um, you know, G.K. Chesterton was noted for saying, I never discuss anything except politics and religion. There's nothing else to discuss. So there's a good quote for you to use if, if it comes up. <laughs> yeah, I have all kinds of great advice for dealing with families, as, as you can tell. Um, good luck with that. But really, Thank you so much to so many of you who have continued to, to make this work possible and to support it in various different ways. I know that despite us being assured that this is the best economy ever, that is not always reflected in things like grocery bills. Um, so thank you for those who, who sacrifice anyway and those who just spread the word around. I, I really appreciate it. And ultimately, of course, I thank God for all that I have and for all of you. All right, happy Thanksgiving, everyone. I hope that you have a wonderful day and a great year.